we're gonna get some awesome footage of Mr. Beal, guys. Like, it's gonna be the best footage we've ever gotten before. Mr. Beal is definitely in here. Excuse me! Is Mr. Beal in there? Excuse me? Is Mr. Beal in there? No. Ugh. Excuse me! Where's Mr. Beal? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's at home! He's not. Mr. Beal! Mr. Beal, where are you? Mr. Beal! You want to tell him? No, yeah. Too funny. <laughs> yeah. My name is Tom Beal, B-E-A-L-E. -E. I got into teaching. It wasn't a direct path for me. It wasn't something that I thought about in high school and university. So it came through experiences. It came through my first two jobs. One was at a physio clinic and one was as a ergonomist. And both had to do with uh, education. One was on back care and one was on risk factors. And I found through doing those multiple presentations that I felt really good afterwards providing education. So I thought about teaching uh, um, as, a, as a later in life and it came through experiences. So I'm pretty happy for those experiences that allowed me to kind of see my path. So currently right now I'm in co-op. But for the past four years, I've had a phys ed first semester and co-op second semester. 20 years since 2002, crazy. I would say that uh, a lot of my experiences at Villanova um, have been outside the classroom through either clubs or Muskoka Woods experiences. And I think those are the, probably the lasting uh, memorable times when I get to really see kids uh, outside of the classroom and, and get to know them on a personal level and then allows me to connect better with them in the classroom. My favorite sport, uh, people that know me best would say that uh, it's baseball. I love baseball, I love to play it, I love to coach it, uh, I love to watch it. My favorite baseball team uh, is the Chicago Cubs. So over the years, many, I started off early on with junior girls basketball, and then I got involved with the, with the track team for about three, four years. But the last 16 years or so, it's been primarily baseball. Um, also, I've had the, the pleasure of working with the uh, Muskoka Woods Leadership Program um, as well. So that's been my main, my main focus is the last uh, 16 years. When will Muskoka Woods? It's a question we get quite a bit. I think uh, people have I've missed it over the last few years because of COVID. Uh, I re have received a lot of information in the last little bit that uh, we are very hopeful the planning stages are, have already begun for next year. So fingers crossed, looks like a green light for next year. Favorite memory here at Villanova probably has to be um, multitude of uh, memories, but when I get to see the kids giving back, so whether it's uh, can drive what recently uh, through uh, Mr. Barron when they, we raised money for Ukraine, uh, cancer walkathons, uh, and obviously Muskoka Woods, because I get to see uh, the students giving back to others. And I think those are those are the memories that will probably last for me. It would have to be rewarding, and, and, and I think it's uh, it's always delayed the, the the rewards of teaching. I don't think you get to see it with young people. In the moment, I think that it comes years later or, you know, uh, when you get to see these kids uh, out as adults and you get to catch up with them and, and, and realize uh, how, how much they've developed and grown as people and uh, the impact, um, you know, the Villanova community had on them as young people.